this following video, if you are struggling to choose between a bully kuda, also known as the beast from the east and the great dane, also known as the deutsche dog, we have compiled all the detailed information you need to know to help you make the best choice. So let's begin the fight. Intimidation factor. A bully kuda has a fearsome reputation, one that is well deserved. An adult male bully kuda stands at an impressive height of 28 to 36 inches at the withers, and weighs between 70 to 90 kilograms. They are enormous aggressive and dangerous fighting dogs. They are popular amongst young men who want to project a macho image, whereas the Great Dane, often called the Apollo of dogs, are huge, powerful and elegant dogs. An adult male Great Dane stands at an impressive height of 30 to 32 inches at the withers, and weighs between 54 to 80 kilograms. Of all the registered dogs with the kennel clubs, only the Irish Wolfhound is taller, and a few Mastiffs may outweigh him. These dogs are indeed giants, muscular and strong, their heads and jaws alone are large and show just how powerful these dogs are when they need to be. However, based on the appearance, the Bully Kuda have got all the hallmarks of an intimidating breed as compared to the Great Dane. So one point to Bully Kuda. Bully Kuda 1 Great Dane 0. Powerful and loudest bark. Let's hear it first and we'll decide accordingly. <coughs> In our opinion the Bully Kuta has a powerful bark, so one point to Bully Kuta. Bully Kuta 2 Great Dane 0, Bite Force. The Great Dane is said to have a bite strength of 238 psi, whereas in the case of Bully Kuta, we didn't have any data with respect to its bite force, however in our opinion it could be above 500 psi, but with no data available to compare, one point to both. Bully Kuda 3 Great Dane 1 Temperament The Bully Kuda has a reputation of being an intelligent noble dog, with aggressive and protective temperament. They can be a dangerous breed if not controlled and raised right. They need a strong willed owner whom they can respect, otherwise they can be dominating and very territorial. Whereas the Great Dane may also be imposing to look at, but they are gentle giants with even temper and docile nature as compared to a Bully Kuda. So one point to Great Dane. Bully Kuda 3 Great Dane 2 Health and Lifespan Both the breeds have similar life expectancy of 8 to 10 years. However, a Great Dane is prone to a host of health problems and can quickly ring up a hefty vet bill as compared to a Bully Kuda. So one point to Bully Kuda. Bully Kuda 4 Great Dane 2 Exercise and Energy Levels Both the breeds are high maintenance dogs in the exercise department, and ideally need to be taken out for a walk a minimum of twice a day for a good hour each time. They also need to be given a tremendous amount of mental stimulation, and preferably one that involves playing interactive games with a dog. However, other things being equal, a Bully Kuda is far more energetic as compared to a Great Dane. So one point to Bully Kuda. Bully Kuda 5 Great Dane 2. Kid Friendly. Both the breeds are known to be good around children's of all ages because they are so calm and patient, more especially if they are well bred, even tempered dogs. As such they are not recommended for toddlers because of their great size. However, in our opinion a Great Dane is more gentle with kids as compared to a Bully Kuda. So one point to Great Dane. Bully Kuda 5 Great Dane 3. Temperament with other dogs and pets. A Bully Kuda can show aggression towards other dogs and pets which is why it's important they be introduced to each other slowly and carefully to make sure things go smoothly. Whereas a Great Dane gets on well with the family cat and will tolerate being around other family pets they have grown up with. So one point to Great Dane. Bully Kuda 5 Great Dane 4. Powerful Guard Dog. Among the two, a Bully Kuda is extremely ferocious and a powerful guard dog. So one point to Bully Kuda. Bully Kuda 6 Great Dane 4. So the winner between the two giants is the beast from the east, the Bully Kuda.